Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Swiss Army Dan coming back at you with another Swiss Army knife video. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about 84 millimeter Victorinox knives. Um, I've got a previous uh, 84 millimeter video, and um, I've done a little bit of changing and refining, buying and selling, trading <laughs> since then, and I've probably got a little bit more. Um, at least refined collection as far as my preferences now and I uh, just kind of wanted to talk about some of these 84 millimeters today with you guys um, I've got some five celadors and five a locks here we'll start with the celadors uh, on the end here this is um, I've actually got another video that talks about this knife but this is a pretty unique 84 millimeter you won't find uh, you won't find this made by Victorinox. This is a mod, and I call it the uh, the Shack Jack, like Caddy Shack or Golfer Jack, because it's basically a uh, a lumberjack and a golfer put together. Um, so it's got your main blade. It's got the awesome 84 millimeter scissors, right? That's what those look like. It's got the combo tool. A little bit older version of the combo tool here with the half stop. Make, makes this one cool. It's got a wood saw on it. All right. Um, corkscrew with a mini screwdriver. On these older ones, they didn't have, these are the original scales. They didn't have a little hole for the, uh, for the straight pin, nor do any of the 84 millimeters have the plus scales with the pressurizing pen on it there. Only on the uh, 91 millimeter did they offer those. But it's got your toothpick and tweezers. And yeah, this is a great knife. Say you wanted to go on a picnic and a little hike, you know. You could open up bottles and cans with your combo tool, prepare food with that, make your walking stick with this thing, right? <laughs> um... You know, you always need scissors to open up packages or whatever. Need some refreshment. Got your your wine opener there. So I think it's kind of like the perfect picnic slash hiking knife. Um, that's my shag jack there. Really like that one. This is a more recent acquisition. This thing is pretty sweet. This is a uh, 84 millimeter climber small. You see it's vintage. It's got this older five turn fluted corkscrew there. No, no hole in the rim or punch, of course. It's got your standard openers. I'm guessing this one's between like 72 and 74. Doesn't have a uh, Swiss Pat stamp on the can opener. It does have um, a wire scraper here on the, uh, you see it there, on the cap lifter screwdriver. Um, it's got the awesome 84 millimeter scissors, right? And this one will have Victoria on the back. So as far as I know, um, the Victoria stamp was uh, in use till around 74, and I think it was from around 61 to uh, to 74. So we've got an older 50s knife, and it has uh, a different a different stamp than that. Doesn't have this old Victoria stamp. I wish I remember what I said. I'll tell you guys. So yeah, there's an 80, 84 millimeter uh, vintage climber small, and it's got the uh, yeah clip point small blade. So this thing is just a peach of a knife. I really, I really like this thing, and it's got such a smooth uh, snap and return on it. Really nice knife. Glad I scored that. I've got another uh, climber small, and this one will be a few years older. Um, I think this is probably an early 80s climber small. Um, basically the same as that. I did replace the uh, the back scale on this one so I can put my uh, straight pin in there. It's got this Vice Help uh, advertisement on it. But this is a user. I don't really care about like trying to preserve this for uh, you know my collection. I carry this thing quite a bit actually. Really dig the climber small. So I always like the half scissors. And I feel like those 58mm scissors don't cut it for me sometimes if I really need to cut something. 
but they're definitely helpful, but I prefer these. Um, next we have this Tinker Small. You see it's got the rounded Phillips. This is probably a late 70s uh, Tinker Small. It's got the can key. Everything else about it is pretty much the same as a, a current, current Tinker Small. No key ring on this one, as a lot of the older 84 millimeter Victorinox won't have a key ring, especially these Tinkers I find and Taurus won't have a key ring. So, and then here is a Taurus. I just replaced it with uh, some white scales on this guy. Pretty sharp looking, I, I like it. It's got the straight pin in there. Um, yeah, the Taurus is pretty standard. It's just like this Spartan classic officer's knife, except it's a smaller scale, 84 millimeter. So that's the cellar doors, and um, here's the a -Lox. First we got a straight up vanilla cadet. I say vanilla because it's the common cadet, not that it's vanilla colored or anything. Um, but yeah, this is a user for me. Cadet's great. I won't talk too much about it, but so cadet then I got um, you know a copper cadet and this blue cadet I actually have another one of these two uh, in storage but yeah the cadet's great so I decided to get those three I think I'm good for now on cadet I don't feel uh, you know I'm not obsessed with them any longer <laughs> I believe the other one I've been carrying a lot is this this bantam and yeah on slacks days um, this thing is great, and I've actually been carrying it in this wallet that I'm gonna still tell you guys uh, about a little, a little bit in the future after I've carried it a little bit more. But this thing, yeah, it's great for the office. I've found um, pretty much everything I need. So I'll have scissors at my desk usually in the office, so if I need them, this thing is great. Uh, especially paired with a uh, 58 millimeter. Then you'll have your scissors and file and stuff too, but and toothpick and tweezers. So you really cover a lot of bases just carrying this and um, and a 58 because you know the 58 millimeters. None of them offer a uh, a can opener. They have that you know bottle opener, but it's not as good as this bottle opener. And you get a bigger screwdriver and the wire stripper. So much uh, so much use out of this tiny little guy. And then last is this uh, secretary. Um, and it's just, you know, two blades, large blade and small blade. But I was looking and com comparing these, and I guess, you know, these smooth a um, they do put a little bit smaller blade than the regular 84 millimeters. So you hold them up this way, you'll see this one's a little bit shorter. It's a little bit shorter and, uh, less of a belly on it even less of a belly. I mean, Victorinox doesn't really have much of one, but you see the difference in the shape there. These are both pretty much, you know, next to new knives. So, it's not from wear or anything. But yeah, I just thought I'd point that out. So that's my uh, current 84 millimeter collection. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. I hope you're doing well. I remind you to be kind to each other. Like, comment, subscribe, all that. Swiss Army Dan's out.